Hello everybody and welcome back to the Bedrock Survival with Thix. This is my second back-to-back -back episode here because I'm working on a huge thing over on our SMP called the Realm of Vastin and I need a little bit more time. So we're, we're double dipping here and then we'll be over there on Saturday morning with the release of a time-lapse video that I think will be a lot of fun. But I want to come over here and check on our villagers and see how we're doing. I'm, I'm, oh, we're doing pretty well. I need a total of 21 villagers. It looks like we have, I don't know, if I were to guess... 16 maybe somewhere around there i think so i think we're, we're close we're close and if i have too many that is cool because i'm probably going to get a couple nitwits that will need to die unfortunately so today i want to work on my iron farm which is way up there on the hill where the castle is going to be and at the same point i want to be close to my villager breeder over here while uh so they can so they can they can breed you know and i think where we're at is i've been enclosing it pretty well i think where are we at okay yeah oh wait how many how many oak? Uh, you got like two and a half stacks that's probably enough to get uh, do some damage anyway so okay so here's the basic plan I, I this tower has to be this big it's a windmill this is supposed to be a windmill i know it's, it's ridiculous right it's huge but it has to be this big because up there if you missed last episode that's my villager breeder so i have to i have to have this whole tower big enough to sort of I encapsulate that entire villager breeder which is fine i don't i don't mind if it's big but it is it is really enormous i i didn't i didn't really think that it would be i mean i guess i knew but i didn't think about how big it's going to be so here's the basic plan i'm going to be doing some building off camera primarily and doing some building up and some detailing right now this the, the part that i'm at right now is going to be very tall because this is going to be the actual part of the windmill uh, it's going to be what, what juts out to make the windmill. And the windmill is going to be very, very large. Look at those jerks down there. It's going to be very, very large. So I'm going to need, you know, I'm going to need a, a, a lot of, oh, look at this. You can't even get down from here. I think I can hit that. If I don't hit it, I will, I die. Go, 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 go. No. And yes, are the two answers to my two questions. Thank you very much right here that i could have just taken and there's like a ladder it's like i fell almost touching the ladder and lost all my levels and stuff no big deal levels are fine levels are not that hard to get at this point in the game but whatever dude whatever we're just gonna keep on rolling with uh with what we're doing so what i've been doing is i've been cutting down tons and tons and tons of trees and uh trying to get enough oak to actually do this build not even thinking about the detailing yet. I'm going to be doing the detailing off camera. That's going to be a painstaking sort of long process. While these guys are just breeding away, I'll be, I'll be working on a, well, working on the main, the main details and stuff like that. So the plan is going to be, we're going to bring this up maybe another, I don't know, eight or nine layers and then probably slap a roof on it and then build the enormous <laughs> giant blades on it. That'll be the, definitely the biggest windmill I ever did. Now, if you're wondering why you can see so great, right now it's because i ha i'm i'm currently playing on a, on the single player version of this world because don't do it again fix you idiot where where's my ladder where where's the ladder that i'm supposed to take i just saw it that's how i got down the last time where's the ladder seriously is it over here why 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 can't i why can't i find the ladder oh it's over there how do i get down there Pfft, i don't even know Essentially nothing has happened. Essentially I've done nothing at all except for just bust these guys in at nighttime. I got eight of them in it one night and then I went AFK for a long time and then I came back and I did, I got the other uh, what the other two. I and on this because I have ten here. I have ten right here. Now I really hope these guys won't breed. I do not want them to breed. I hope they won't breed. Okay. No babies, please. Okay, so so yeah, so I have ten, ten in there all set up and i think they're safe i don't think you can get to them without a jump but boy these guys are trying aren't they <laughs> anyway all right so so we have those guys now i have another 10 let me show you where all this is all redstoned up as far as being powered rails so that i can move a little bit faster and not have to push push this i learned my lesson from over there but in the meantime i did a lot of building over there i slapped a roof on this guy and a windmill I'm not crazy about the windmill, to be totally honest. It's a little bit small, actually. I didn't want to go too big because I didn't want to hit the ground. But, uh, yeah, and so I did a roof up there and also I did a roof on this thing. Let's go over there and take a little look. 
I mean, the difference is awesome. It, it, like this, these guys have supports and they have roofs. And I just did all of this so that I was in this area. Like, so I was just really close to this thing, uh, to this windmill, well, villager breeder, you know, as much as I could be as much as, as much as I can. And, and yeah, I just threw in some black stained glass and, and yeah, I think it's, I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. A again, windmill, probably a little small. I probably need to actually probably expand it by like, Man, I don't know, four blocks maybe just to make it look like it belongs on such a big fat tower. You know, the tower has to be that big. Unfortunately, that's just the nature of it. I see you, skeleton. I see you. I'm just going to run right by. Nothing in the interior as is my nature. But there are a few ways around. And these guys are, uh, they're they are doing their thing. See, little baby. I wasn't I wasn't totally sure if they would breed without sunlight. So I, I made sure I left, uh, left glass up there. Thank you. Thinking that worst case scenario, I could always just uh, open this up to the roof, uh, to the sky. That's why I did this uh, roof design. Let me show it to you here in a second. If you see right where it connects right there, I could potentially have had the entire middle side completely wide open. I just didn't know, you know, I don't know with the way mechanics have changed with villagers and stuff. I just didn't know if they still needed uh, sky access because they used to back when you needed doors and things. And, you know, who knows? I, who knows? Oh, I, lots of people know, but not this guy. This guy doesn't know. So yeah, and then also, like we talked about last episode, I've been working on trees here, just waiting, gonna keep all the big trees and cut down all the little guys, basically is what I'm doing here, because that's gonna be a little bit of a, uh, a windbreak, I think it's called, for farmers, uh, between the city part and the, the crop field. That way, whenever you're walking, you're like, this will all be houses, 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 and then you'll come around these couple of big trees and be like, oh, look, there's farms, and look, there's a windmill. See, it'll make more sense, it'll make more sense. It'll be better that way. It'll be better. Hey, so I just want to shout out again, special thanks to uh, Skyfly for the great iron farm tutorial. And uh, I've been actually looking for some other tutorials because I, I'm, I'm kind of looking for a way to kill the weather since my live stream experience was just, just so bad. It was just so bad, but I've not been to the end. And if you look, every single wither killer that there is, is in the end. And I don't really have means for that right now. So I have more villagers than I need, even if you take away these nitwits. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, so I, I have more villagers than I need, which is terrific. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start bringing these guys over. I'm going to try to get 10 of these non-nitwits up along here and ready to fall into the iron farm the next night. And the way I've been doing it is I've been lining up, up kind of close, but not too close. If they're too close, then they could sort of pathfind to the bed even though they're in a cart i think so i think i need to move them individually so what i'm going to do is uh break the track where it's i'm fairly close and that way i can get all 10 close because i what i the reason i couldn't get all 10 before is because this walk is so far like from here walk the whole way over there that that journey is what takes so long so i think what we'll do is we'll start here and uh yeah that'll be the first uh, you know what? Actually, I lied. We're, we're, we'll go right there. That'll be better. So the first guy should stop here, and and uh, and then we'll do that ten times. Okay. In two different worlds, I've been hard on the grind. Here, I've been hard on the grind moving the villagers. And let me show you. Last night, I finally got it done. And I did quite a bit of this on a Discord live stream. So if you ever want to see, like, if I'm doing something really grindy and I have some quiet, excuse me, quiet time in my house, uh, which is rare, but if I do. Uh, then sometimes, you know, I'll just hit go live on Discord and be like, hey, uh, anyone who's here, I'm, you know, I'm in general, come chat. And and that's like, you can watch, but you can also, like, I'll be in voice chat, you know? So if you're not in my Discord, it's, it's a cool place to hang out. And, uh, and you know, maybe you can help influence some builds, honestly, because uh, a lot of... Um, a lot of well i can't say i do a lot i do a couple times a week a couple times a week i'll just jump on discord live and uh and you can just list you know be in voice chat and watch this uh the stream and it's high def and everything thanks to a few boosters so it's very cool it's very cool but you can see up here i have a iron farm and iron farm is it good no not really check it out 21 iron and i, I afk here for oh I, like at least an hour i think I think at least an hour. It's it's slow. It's really slow. I, I didn't, you know, look, I didn't know what to expect. You know, I've never made an iron farm in Minecraft before outside of modded, which, you know, obviously totally different rules there. So yeah, all my villagers, they're here. They work. Everything's cool. They're in there. They're doing their thing. 
uh, it does occasionally spawn um, spawn uh, iron golem. I think what I need to do though, I I think that uh, man, I, I hate to go like the command block route honestly, but like the cat situation here is pretty bleak. Like apparently from my googling, uh, there you can have ten cats per village, and I eclipse that quickly. A lot of them die, as you can see all the string in there. So a lot of the cats are dying. The problem is, if if 10 cats escape, I think it stops spawning Iron Golem. So I'm going to wait before I do anything and look at your comments. I could run around killing cats on the regular, but look how many cats. Look at this. This is how many cats have, have spawned uh, with, you know, seven, maybe seven Iron Golems. If I'm getting three ingots per or something like that. But you know, it works. It works and it's okay. This, I started working on a couple supports for for my, my rail system. And uh, I, you know, it, it's just, just the beginning. I do think I want to go mostly stone brick, probably a combination of smooth stone, stone brick. And then probably some sort of fence or something that's going to make that make that stand up. And I think, I feel like five, four or five or three or six. <laughs> that's a funny way to say that. Three to six spaces in between would be ideal. I, I did I did five, five, and then here I did four to see if that would bother me if I had, you know, different numbers. And it doesn't. In fact, I think they all need to be sort of randomized. I think that's going to be the best way to make that happen. So, so yeah, so I think we're going to work on supports going throughout this whole thing. That way, if it's four or five wide, you can still have easily a road underneath. Even you, know, you could skip one and have a house underneath. There, there's a lot of, there's a lot of things that you can do. I think that are going to work out really well. If you look in here, you'll notice that I have no villagers left and a big bucket of lava. <laughs> oh, look, just, just, Pretend like you don't know what happened here, okay? Can we just can we just all pretend like you don't know you don't know what what horror actually happened here? No villagers, okay, good. All right, so so yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it is what it is. So I have been having some real audio problems for like a week or two, where I'm getting this weird. It's like, it sounds like a or something like that, like at the beginning of every clip. And the problem is I often just hit the button and start talking and I don't like think to wait a couple seconds so I can sort of get rid of that. So that has been plaguing my life. If you heard some weird sort of edits in my videos, then with audio wise, then that's why, because I've had to sort of try to get in there and, and fix it. And the problem is I generally record, I record generally my whole episode and then edit it. Occasionally, recently, more recently, as I've been learning better editing techniques or some editing techniques, I've been actually editing sort of while I record, which is definitely a better way to go. If, if you guys are, are, are doing videos, uh, take take word from Uncle Fix here. It's definitely, that's a better way to go. You're gonna get a better product that way. But uh, regardless of, of, of that, I don't find out that I have these weird audio things until after the whole episode is done. And then, you know, you can't, you can't go back and, and fix that necessarily because because the, the world has changed. You know, like whatever thing I'm trying to show the process of building in this game is already built at that point. So I just recently had an epiphany and I was just sitting here thinking like, why is this game happening? It's driving me nuts, blah, blah. And they thought, wait a second. I added this OBS plugin called like a, a like a voice meter to make my sound a little bit better. Uh, also, you may notice this clip, it, the sound is a little bit quieter than it was before. That's because that thing was giving me like a five to seven second like uh, lag delay before I editing clip started. And then that sound that I was getting, that like thing, sound, uh, that was actually because, because that program then it's like when the lag caught up from five seconds, all the audio happened at the exact same time. So seven seconds of me talking in like a millisecond was like, Bloop, except for much louder and, and more, more sound. So that's been happening. I just figured it out and it's gone now. So I, I, it should be smooth sailing from here on out. But uh, yeah, that explains some of my weird audio things uh, so far. So. I look, I think this this is going to be a shorty. This is going to be a shorty episode because we did finish the iron farm. I want to build around it soon. Uh, I need I need some information from you guys from my my loving YouTube friends, okay? Here's here's what I need. I need two things and I am begging you. If you're this far in the video, I need to ask this in the beginning. 
if I, you know, I need ass in the beginning because, you know, that's when most people watch. But I need help. I need two things. And I'm looking for comments. And this isn't like one of those things where I'm trying to get you a comment because that helps the interactivity of the video. This is, I, I need help. Uncle Face needs help. Okay. So here, here's the thing I need help with. One, can I add a second layer to my iron farm? That's the number one thing. And if so, how do I do it? Uh, help me. Help, help me. Help a, a, a non- non sort of automated minded minecrafter would you would you help me out okay that's that's the very first thing and and probably the most important thing because my iron production it is it is not good now yes i know i'm too far away for it to be working right now i know i get that i just i was getting ready to build a house and 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 i decided that i'm not gonna do that this episode because uh there are other things that i want to do with this time and one of those is i need to grind a uh, a time lapse over in the other world so uh, but yeah, I want to get up here so I can I can just show you the the what the farm looks like and, and ask you can I add a second layer to this? Okay, here is what it looks like right now. Okay, <laughs> good. Can you see? <laughs> no, there. Okay, can you see? That's how it looks right now. Uh, let's go up right here in the middle, so we can take it. Oh, dude. Do you know why that happened? That happened because I'm out of food and I couldn't sprint. Oh, that's such a drag. Here's what I was trying to show you. Here's <laughs> here's how it looks from the top. Okay, so I have right now I have like this indentation of glass. I realize that my glass texture makes it a little hard. And there is a hole right here with two bells that I that I pilfered from villages uh, kind of over that direction. So, um, yeah. So what do you think? What do you think? Can I can I can I add a second layer? Would I get all the iron golems? Like, would I get them to flow into this one wide hole? Is that how you do it, or would I? Maybe filter them out to the outside uh, and get them to fall off that way. I don't know. I don't know. But but in any case, if there's anything I can do to make this farm less terrible, I I would surely surely love love to to hear some opinions on on that. Okay, uh, that's the and I think I said I need a second thing, didn't I? Oh yes, the entire reason why we're in this predicament mainly I need to, I need to kill the weather. And I really, really, really need your help on how to do that in the bedrock edition. Look, you guys saw last episode, you saw my my wither killing prowess, which is, uh, how do you say, uh, not strong, not strong. But so look, what do I do? How do I kill it? What's the best way? Uh, if anyone out there can get me a tutorial on how to do it, like you don't have to do the tutorial, you just find it on YouTube or something. I would be so grateful. Man, that 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 freaking wither! It it owned me so hard. It was so not close. I need to figure out how to do it. If you tell me that I need to go kill the Ender Dragon first, then fine, fine, I'm game. Okay, if that's what you tell me, I need to do, and then that way I can just suffocate him in those end pathway things. Fine, but I'm looking for some. I'm looking for some help. Okay, I'm looking for some help for my friends. So, with all that being said, that's gonna do it for me today from the Bedrock Survival World. Uh, we did some stuff today a lot more stuff coming oh look at me look at this it's not bad right i think the, the the windmill thing is just a little it's a little small it looks so ridiculously big but that's okay we're gonna get used to it <laughs> we'll get used to it okay love y'all thank you so much for coming by really do appreciate it and i will see you on saturday morning with a all a full time lapse version uh of an awesome build i think from the realm of Aston. okay uh we'll see you next time thanks so much for watching peace